it's Lee from coloringqueen.net and today I have the very first postcard book that Clara Makova has produced and it's called I Believe in Fairies. Inside there are 32 postcards and we're going to look at them now. So they come all sealed in plastic but of course I had to undo that so I could get inside and have a look. It's a beautiful card cover and at the back there is a little slot which we can then open up and have a look at the beautiful postcards. So we've got this little cardboard box that we can keep them in and inside 32 postcards. Clara's copyright notice is there on the back. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at this even little gold foiling on the front so cute now these actually are watercolor paper so the paper is 300 grams and we've got a little note from clara on the back of the colored postcard that is included isn't that beautiful now other people might send that to someone that they love i'm going to definitely keep that I can't part with anything. And then we've got the 32 postcards. Now these are on 300 gram watercolor paper in a creamy color. And the postcards actually measure 17 and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters, or well, seven by five inches if you go by the older measurements. So we've got one of our gorgeous little fairy houses might just zoom you in now I haven't looked at these I just took the plastic off so we get to enjoy them both together so a gorgeous little fairy house and on the back of course beautiful detail for where you would put the stamp isn't that gorgeous so we've got that one and then of course we've got another little fairy god they're beautiful aren't they and it looks like the back is all the same on them. They are really gorgeous. A little snail. Gosh, a little fairy asleep in the flowers. And a little elf. Gosh, look at this bunny rabbit. Isn't it gorgeous? This is so cute. Another gorgeous little fairy. And this is our coloured postcard. So we can colour that one in as well. I don't know who does Clara's colouring, whether it's her or whether she gets someone to colour, but they're very talented, whoever they are. Isn't this one cute? So many strawberries and berries and little fairy houses. Look, she's got a little clothes on the line. These are just beautiful. God, look at this one. I don't know where she thinks up these things. It's so cute. And look, this has got a little gift tag that you could fill in. More strawberries. I'm going to have to have some strawberries later. Some beautiful blueberries by the looks of it. So the unicorn eats blueberries. Cupcakes. I tell you what, with all these sweets and fruits on here, I am getting really hungry. And also, they're all so cute. I don't know which one to colour in. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Hmm. We've got our cute little mice, a little pumpkin. Look at our little witch, she's got the cauldron happening there. Gosh, they're all gorgeous. See, this is why we wait for Clara's books, why she doesn't produce them, you know, every few months. We wait a year just to get these beautiful pieces of magic. Aren't they lovely? Look at the kitty cats. I really don't know which one to colour. This is a good one for Christmas. 
if you could bear to part with it and give it to somebody, I couldn't. And these cards are really thick. It's really thick card. It's 300 gram watercolor paper and it's, it's very thick. It's smooth, but it's really sturdy. Aren't they cute? Oh, look at this. Look at all the gifts and the stockings. Oh, so many beautiful Christmas ones here. But that little mouse has exhausted himself, probably eating too much. And look, how beautiful. How beautiful winter Christmas fairy, I guess. She's got a present. And look at this gingerbread man up the tree. God, it's all so gorgeous. I tell you, I think Clara's work just gets more and more delightful with each new book or offering that she gives us. It's just stunning, isn't it? Now, if you can't get the cards, and the links as usual are below the video, Clara does have some digital type cards on her website that you can download and you can print them out. They're not these ones, but you know, you could still make a card or give a card if you didn't have this lovely set of cards. So there they are, the 32 beautiful cards. They're really thick paper. I'll pop some ink tents on them and uh, we'll see how they go. These are watercolour paper, so I'm sure they will be fine. Now let's see which one we want to colour. Maybe, maybe this one. Maybe do the door. I'll just uh, do a little bit here. And this is just for my intense set of 12. You can always add more colour afterwards. Now I've dived into this and I've forgotten to put my glasses on, so hopefully <laughs> it won't be too much of a disaster when I look at it with my glasses back on. So the paper is really good. Normally I wouldn't do two lots of water over it before it had dried like I'm doing here but because it's watercolor paper it can really take that and that's what I wanted to see uh, it really is taking that extra and I've put this on hasn't even dried yet from the first one and just going straight over it because I just wanted to see how sturdy the paper was and obviously because I don't have my glasses on I've gone out of the lines a bit, but it doesn't matter. It'll all work out in the wash. So it's really good paper and the ink tents is going on it so well. And so if the ink tents goes on it, your other watercolour products should be just fine. Now there's no tester card, so if you're not sure, then just, uh, you know, try in the corner of a card or something like that because there's no sort of spare to use as like a little tester to see which of your products might work the best with them. But the Intense is going on just fine. There we have it, two coats of Intense, not a mark on the other side. There's no damage or peeling, so it's definitely watercolour paper. So that's it from me. And until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.